Malkia strikers under the tutelage of Jafet Munala began their campaign in Japan late last month, needing two wins in a group that had Serbia, Brazil, Puerto Rico, Kazakhstan and Dominican Republic, but could only manage a win against Kazakhstan, which was their first ever in the World Championship and the second for any African country at the same stage. I'm happy because we registered the first win. I think uh, it's a way forward as we gear towards qualifying for the 2020 Olympics. But I'm so happy with the performance of the players. They did very well, despite the fact that we had Typhoon there, which really affected our, the game the following day. But we played our hearts out. Cameroon had registered their first win in the tournament opener to become the first African country to win a match in the World Championship. However, Kenya's celebration was cut short as they lost to Serbia in the second match, which was followed by another loss, this time at the hands of Puerto Rico. Matters got to us for the team as they lost by straight sets to Brazil, going down 25-13, 25-10 and 25-16 to the defending champions. We have been team for long and we have been doing a reception. We have been committed to receive and we have the best. The reception has been at the end to finish, but... Monzo, monzo, Heading into their last group match of the competition, Malkia strikers needed to register a win against the Dominican Republic in order for them to progress to the second round, having lost their last three matches. But they could not match up the Dominicans as they lost in sets of 25-5, 25-7 and 25-15 at the Hamamatsu Indoor Arena in Japan. It's quite an experience for me as a first, as a, my first time as a coach in the World Championship. I have learned a lot, I have come with a lot of experience, of, of which I hope when I next call up for the national team, I think we are going to improve on our standard. What is badly needed, obviously, is uh, a lot more exposure for these girls, both as individuals and as a team. So we'll be looking for, before the next World Championships and before the, the Olympic Games, we'll be looking for opportunities to expose our girls. In Richard Monga for Channel 1 Sports.